I wish film was easier. I wish it was cheaper. I wish it was more convenient. I wish to have the look and feel of film, but with the convenience of my smartphone. And I'm sure a lot of you out there are gonna say, well, Robin, that's the point. It's not supposed to be convenient. The struggle is what makes the results so satisfying. And I know, okay? I know. And I'm also sure a lot of you wouldn't say that because it's kind of pretentious, but that being said, I know. But it's expensive and I have to leave the house. <laughs> and I don't want any, either of those things. I don't want that to be the case. But I love the look and feel of film. I just hate how inconvenient it is. I may have found an app though that solves my problems. The app is called Dazcam and it's without a doubt the best film emulation app I have ever used. It's a free app that has a bunch of different camera emulations for both video and stills. Everything from Super 8 film to instant kind of Instax style, all the way to these very specialty style cameras that give really interesting results. One of my personal favorites is the golf mode, which is based on the Fujifilm Rencha Cardia Bayou N 16. Okay, so it's based on an actual camera that came out in 1995 that was designed to study your golf swing by taking 16 photos in rapid succession. But the app version does the same thing but produces this kind of video gif with this really interesting sort of staccatoed effect for the images. On top of the different camera types, there's also various kind of visual effects that you can apply to the images beforehand. Things like fisheye lenses, kind of prism effects, or even colored filters. On top of that, you can also add things such as timestamps, like you used to see back in old cameras and old photos, as well as random light leaks. The aspect ratio of the photos themselves is determined by the phone that you're using. But if you're using something like an iPhone with multiple lenses, then you can cycle through all those lenses within the camera type. Also, you're given the choice as to whether or not you want to keep the original photo or just keep the processed one, which is something I love, gives you a choice. Like I mentioned earlier, this app is free to download. But to unlock all the different camera types available, you will have to pay $20 for the pro version of the app. But this is a one-time purchase, which we love. Or you have the option of paying $7 or $8 a year. And then that way you also get a family account, which unlocks family sharing. But if you're not sure as to whether or not you wanna drop the cash for the pro version, you're able to try out all the different camera types with the free version, just with the caveat that you can't actually save any of the results. You know, something I admire about this app is its simplicity. The fact that there's not really much else to it aside from the ability to choose camera types and adding visual effects. But other than that, there's like not much else. It really just allows you to have fun with it. It's so straightforward that all you have to focus on is what camera type you want and how you wanna take a photo. And not only is it fun, but the results can also be genuinely impressive. Now, some camera types work better than others, but the ones that work well, work so well. Another one of my favorites is the Instax type cameras, which produce really, really convincing results, especially if you use them with the flash on. And generally I found that the camera types that have more extreme effects, such as the Instax or the golf camera, produce the best results as you can see less of the smartphone bones than compared to some of the other camera types, which are a little bit more straightforward. And you know, honestly, I didn't upgrade to the pro version until I was making this video, because I only did it to show you guys 
all the different camera types. I was very happy just using the free version up until right now. Just so you know. Anyway, you should try it out for yourself. It's a free app. I really, really enjoyed using this app. I've been using it since about February or March, I want to say, of this year. So a number of months now, and I've just been having so much fun with it. If you liked this video and you want to see more videos about achieving the film look on smartphone photos, well, I made another video just like this one. It's more of a manual process. So if you're interested, go check that one out. And until then, my name is Robin and I'll see you in the next one. I feel you, babe. Your muscles are a metaphor. A figure of speech.